Hey everyone, I'm Renaud, I'm head of product at Prismic, and uh, I wanted to take the time today because we discussed with the team uh, on the need to actually communicate more about what we are doing. So what we are bringing to the market is is huge, changing the way you build websites. And so we want to be more present and be more talkative about uh, the release that we are doing and the, and the new features that we just shipped concerning the page building experience, uh, the developer experience, the change in the APIs, uh, the support of the new technologies. And so we didn't want to only show you those changes, but also show you the faces that are actually building the product and actually shipping those things. So. Uh, in the next few minutes, you'll meet engineers and PM that are working on uh, on those new exciting features. And I will just leave the mic now to Guy uh, that will present to you all the nice, cool stuff that are coming for the page builder. See you there. Hey everyone, Alex Guy here from the page builder team uh, at Prismic. Um, so just wanted to record a video today just to provide everyone um, with a quick update of some of the cool new features that we've been working on as part of the new page builder. Hopefully everyone's familiar with the kind of concept that we're going for in terms of basically like making uh, building a website as simple as building a slide deck. So, so yeah, um, I'll be running through that today in the form of a demo. So I'll be building a really quick page and then just showing you how all of this stuff uh, works in practice. Well, cool, uh, let's jump to it. So yeah, imagine, I don't know, you wanna build something um, for your marketing team or something like that. Just um, something real cool, powerful on brand um, that they can use to try and advertise or um, you know, market some new feature for your product. So what I'm going to quickly do is just go through and add all the slices that we'll need for the page. So I guess at the top of the page, um, usually we want to add a hero slice. So I like this one here um, with the background. Uh, add um, some kind of um, feature. So yeah, I want to advertise the features that I have on my page. I think I'm going to do features below. So I'm going to add that one. Okay. So I've just gone through there and just added some content uh, to my page. So you can see I've got all my slices here um, and they're filled up with lots of content. Um, now with the drag and drop, super powerful, super easy to use feature. But when I was adding the slices, I added the testimonial first and then I added the logo. But actually, I think kind of like blue and blue together is a little bit weird. Um, and actually, I think it would be nice to have the break um, of the white in between. And also just to have my logos before I kind of have the individual um, call out of a user um, giving their testimonial. So what I can do is I simply just drag and drop it here and voila. So now I have the new order um, on my page. Now, the next thing I just wanted to quickly show off was just our new tag. So um, I already have a tag here, awesome landing page. So if anyone wants to um, filter or look through at any of the landing pages that I've created in the document list, um, they can simply do that. And then um, we're good to go and I can add a new tag as well. So I can say this is September landing page. Um, if I want to be more granular in what I'm looking for and then I've added my tag and then I'm good to go. And the other thing that I can do as well is maybe I want to um, do something very similar in um, October. So I have a new feature that's coming out and I want to create a new page like this. Um, then what I could simply do is I could click on here, I can duplicate the document, and then I could change some of the content that is bespoke to um, October, but I already have most of the content. I have all the slices, I have everything um, all ready to go. And also imagine, um, Maybe I have a French version of my website as well. Then I can very easily filter and go to a French version of the page. Or if I don't have a French version, I can copy um, from my United States locale to my French one. And I'll have all the content there. And then I can quickly go through and translate it. And then I have a uh, French version of the page as well. Hey, I'm Alex Trost from the Developer Experience team. And I am thrilled to announce that Prismic Slice Machine supports Next Nuxt, and as of this month, SvelteKit. Here at Prismic, we love SvelteKit's simplicity and power, excellent tooling, and intuitive templating. It's also the framework that you, our community, has asking for us to support in Slice Machine. If you're not familiar, Prismic Slice Machine is a developer tool that deeply integrates with your framework of choice in order to improve your speed and your developer experience overall. To do that, we spend a ton of time really learning each individual framework that we support. That way, Slice Machine can handle all the boring boilerplate tasks and you can focus on what actually makes your site different. So yes, we've brought all that power of Slice Machine and combined it with SvelteKit. So how do you get started? Go to your Prismic dashboard and choose to create a new SvelteKit project. 
We have a minimal starter and a multi-page starter to help get you started quicker. Then go through the steps of creating a repo and follow our getting started guide with detailed steps. The starter will install SvelteKit, Prismic Slice Machine, and all the Prismic SDKs that you need, like the client to fetch your data and the Svelte SDK in order to template out your content. Then you can open Slice Machine, start creating page types and slices, and get code snippets for each one of your fields. Now it's easier than ever to ship your team a headless website builder powered by SvelteKit. A lot of people at Prismic helped out with this, but I would like to especially thank Angelo Ashmore for all of his work on the adapter and the SDK, and Sam Littlefair for his initial support and all his work in the documentation. I can't wait for you to try out SvelteKit and Prismic Slice Machine. Go take it for a spin. Hi, this is Hugo from the Developer Tools team, and this is the latest Slice Machine update. Slice Machine now lets you pick slices from a growing library of templates that will help you bootstrap a web page in about 60 seconds. They come with both models and code. They are super simple to tweak in both structure and styling. So to select a template, go to a new or existing page, click the Add button and select From Templates. Then you can pick one of or several slices, say Hero and Customer's logo, and they get instantly added to your page type. If you now go to your code, you can see that both slices have been added in terms of models, mocks, and code. Hi, my name is Elena, and I'm a product manager at Prismic. I'm very excited to share with you something that's uh, been a product of the feedback that you've given us around not being able to get your content into Prismic as fast and as easy as you would like when you're trying to move content from another CMS over to Prismic. So, Today, I'm going to share with you our beta launch of our migration API. And the migration API is going to allow you to programmatically create and update your content in Prismic. It's also going to allow you to um, automate the process, get clear error messages and validations for the content that you send us to make it very quick and much more easy to get content in so you can focus on making your website more beautiful and creating content. Um, for your users. How does that look? Uh, our, our, um, I've, got, I've got here an example of a request that I'm going to make to create a document in Prismic. I've got some document data at the top, and then I've got data, um, some of my actual content data. That's, of course, referencing any, any um, fields that I've created in my content model. But also, um, I have the ability to create slices when I um, when I create a document, so I can I can choose any slice that's attached to to the um, type that I'm trying to create a, a document for, and I can go ahead and um, and add it, and I'll see it then in Prismic in my document list. So here I just have a couple of slices. I have some images, some rich text, and I've got. Um, I'm going to make the request right now. Go. Cool. As you can see, a uh, page has been created. We can see that my new page has also been added to the document list in Prismic. And all the content that I've submitted is right there, uh, including styling and the rich text, including the slices. And now I can review and I can publish my content. If you're interested in trying out the new beta and becoming a beta tester, you can join our waitlist. Looking forward to it. Everything is coming together now, the way we are simplifying the, web, uh, the developer experience, the way we are aligning this developer experience to actually ship a very nice page builder to marketing team. Uh, on the way we are changing our API to deliver more content in a reliable and stable manner. And the way we are creating new APIs for you to migrate your content easily and, and for big websites, for example. So this is just, just a sneak peek of what we did in September. The good thing, the good news is that uh, we are now improving the product on a week to week basis. We are now going to communicate more about those changes and we are going to be able to see each other in a month with like uh, the new updates that are coming in. So see you there.